Man United have got to bury that West Brom result as quickly as possible ahead of the FA Cup semi-final against Spurs. And we need to do that with a win, hopefully, against Bournemouth on Wednesday night. Here is the team I think Jose Mourinho will start. Now, I want to quickly get something out of the way. I think it's abundantly obvious that Man United's players have effectively downed tools in the Premier League for the rest of the season. You know, we're in second place. We've got a game in hand. We're comfortably in the top four. We're not going to win the Premier League. We're not going to get knocked out of the top four. For me, it's job done for the players as far as they're concerned. You saw that against West Brom. There wasn't anywhere near the same tenacity and intensity that we saw against City. When United had something to play for against City, they played one of the best derbies you'll ever see. Well, one of the best 45 minutes you'll ever see anyway. That didn't happen against West Brom. And for me, the players don't give a shit about the Premier League anymore. So I think Bournemouth, Watford, Brighton, West Ham, the rest of the games this season, we're going to see some pretty poor performances. But we can still win silverware with the FA Cup. So that's going to be the focus for Mourinho and the players. But for me, on Wednesday night, I'm not expecting too much change as far as the intensity of the players go. I'm expecting change in the starting eleven. I think De Gea will start in goal, as always, with Valencia at right back and Smalling also starting. But I think maybe he'll change the left back and left centre back. I'm going to go for Rojo and Shaw. Mourinho said that he's going to rotate players, not for rotational purposes, but he's saying that I'm going to start some players and if they play blinders, I'm going to start them in the FA Cup semi-final. Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia, for me, both need to be replaced in the summer because they're not proper fullbacks. Luke Shaw is a proper left back. Now, Mourinho might not like him for one reason or another, God knows why, but he should be starting a left-back, and I've said it for time and time again, no matter how good Ashley Young has been, Luke Shaw can be better, and I would start him here. If he has a blinder, definitely start him against Spurs at Wembley. And I would start Rojo at centre-back as well. Remember how good Rojo was last season at centre-back? Chris Smalling has played okay in certain games, bad in other games. Eric Bai, not sure whether he's fit or not, but... I would start Rojo here to give him a chance. Lindelof was okay against West Brom, but no player was more than okay. So no player cannot be dropped from this game. Now in midfield, I would make changes as well. I think Ander Herrera is going to drop out. I think Scott McTominay will come back in. Scott McTominay is a player that Jose Mourinho trusts. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe he's still injured. If he is, let me know in the comments. But I think if McTominay is fit, he will start alongside Matic with Pogba just in front of them. I wouldn't drop Pogba. Maybe Mourinho disagrees. He took him off against West Brom. Maybe he'll drop him for this game here. But Pogba, the problem is, is you saw how good he can be against City and then you saw how bad he can be against West Brom. But it wasn't just him, it was the whole team. And that's an attitude and complacency problem for Man United. Arrogancy. I don't know what you want to call it, but that's the wrong type of arrogance. You can be that arrogant if you win 2-3-4-0. You lose 1-0 to the bottom of the Premier League team. You have no right to be arrogant in that game. I'm going to go for Pogba, McTominay and Matic for the midfield three. I'm going to go for a front three of Rashford, Sanchez and Lukaku. Probably Sanchez on the left, Rashford on the right, and Lukaku through the middle. Now, I'd like to start Martial and Rashford and see what they can both do with a start. But I don't think Mourinho will drop Sanchez. It doesn't strike me as a player that he's going to drop anytime soon. That's why I'm starting Sanchez out on the left. I would prefer to see Martial there. But let me know who you would rather see start, Sanchez or Martial. Lukaku up front, he's our number one striker. That won't change. Or maybe you could start Rashford there and give Lukaku a rest. I don't know. But I would start Rashford out on the right wing. His crosses are fantastic from the right wing. Certainly better than Antonio Valencia for as good as he has been as a right back. His drilled crosses are getting on my nerves. Just bamming it across the box. It worked in 2009-10 when Rooney was getting on the end of every, every single one of them. But it's not working at the moment. We need someone with more guile and craft on the crosses. And Rashford certainly has that. That's why I would start him. But who would you start against Bournemouth? What do you think about this game? As I said, for me, it looks like the players don't give a shit about the Premier League anymore. They're looking at it as job done. FA Cup semi-final though, a few days later, if the players want to start in that game, they have to put in a good performance. So maybe we'll see an improvement from West Brom. Let's be honest, it can't get much worse than that game. But who would you start? Let me know in the comments. As always, drop a like on the video if you're new and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.